Hello, this is Jeff from Baron Leathercraft, and today's video is going to be a tutorial to help people that use Adobe Illustrator to create stitching holes to keep those holes lined up and symmetrical. That way they're even, so when you're adding pockets to any pattern that you're creating, it's going to be effortless because everything is going to line up. So let's go ahead and get started. There's a pitfall that a lot of people run into when they create stitching holes in Adobe Illustrator. And the problem comes when you start rounding off the corners of an object. Let me give you an example. Here's an object I created here with stitching lines. It's the corners are rounded, and as I zoom up, you see I placed a guideline. Now look at this stitching hole in comparison to the one on the other side. They're not matching at all. One is above the line and one is below the line. For this reason, when you go to add a pocket, it's not going to come out correctly when you go to stitch it. It's going to look uneven. It's not going to fit properly. So in this video, first I'm going to make an object with right hand turns, 90 degree angle corners, and show you how it works and it sets up symmetrically. And then we're going to go ahead and turn the corners into rounded corners and show you what's necessary in order to fix this when you run into this problem. Now I'm going to go ahead and create an object and it's going to be any size. You can consider this like a checkbook or whatever piece of leather that you'd like to. And I'm going to go ahead and create an offset path. I'm going to use four millimeters. That's slightly over an eighth of an inch. So our stitch line is going to be in slightly over an eighth of an inch of the object. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to stroke. I'm going to change the thickness of this line to one millimeter. I'm going to cap it with a round cap because we're going to be creating circles. And hit the dashed line. Dash line, the first line I want to be zero, and the second line I want to be four millimeters. That creates the gap. So that means that these stitching holes are going to be four millimeters apart, similar to using a four millimeter pricking iron. Plus, I want this right corner square to be clicked on. This aligns all the dots as perfectly as, as Adobe Illustrator can do under these circumstances. So let's go ahead and click off of that. And now you see in our object, let me zoom in a little bit, is now has stitching lines and stitching holes, and they are symmetrical because the corners are not round. So as long as you stick with corners that aren't round, these holes are going to always line up. The problem, let me open the ruler and just demonstrate. I'll set up a guideline. There, you see how the holes on both sides line up? This will happen throughout the entire piece because, you know, we set it up correctly and the holes are going to line up because there's no corners that are rounded. I'm going to go ahead and create a pocket for it. And under these circumstances, because we're dealing with a piece that has no corners, I can go ahead and just literally pull it away Let's go a little lower. And I have snap on guide, so it's going to snap right to the object. There we go. So now it's all lined up. Let me go ahead and get rid of the fill so we can see what's going on here. Get rid of the fill on both of them. So you see right here, see how our pocket and the lines are working perfectly. The problem is, once you start adding curved lines, these lines are no longer going to be symmetrical. But there is a way to fix it, and that's basically what this video is about. So let me go ahead and get rid of the pocket. Let me go get rid of the stitching line. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. And now I'm going to go ahead and alter the corners by pulling in on these slots. I know a lot of my leather crafting has rounded corners, and most likely yours does too. So now we have rounded corners. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go ahead and set an offset path again. Four millimeters, negative four millimeters once again to bring the stitching line in by about slightly over an eighth of an inch. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to go to stroke, and I'm going to go and change it to one millimeter thickness. 
I'm going to round the cap and once again hit dashed lines. Zero in the first one. We want four millimeter gap between holes like a four millimeter pricking iron. And of course, we want the box on the right to line it up as well as it can. Now, you will see that these, line, these circles are no longer symmetrical. Bring one right there. Now you see how, I'm going to bring it up, zoom in even closer. You see how this line ended up on this dot perfectly? But look at the difference. So when you, when you went to add a pocket, the pocket's going to be straight, but it's not going to land on the uh, original object correctly. The stitching lines are going to be off, and it'll be noticeable, and you don't want to work that way anyway. So let me show you how to fix that. Let's get rid of this guideline. All right, first I want to go ahead and select both objects, and then I want to align them to the center of the artboard. Here under the section of Align, you have three options, align to selection, align to key object, or align to artboard. I want to align to artboard, and I want to align it vertically and horizontally. So I'm going to hit the horizontal align button, and I'm also going to hit the vertical align button. There. Now let's get a better look. Now you can see now that the artwork is centered right in the middle. All right, now we have our artwork centered. And I want to go ahead and create a guideline and center that as well. So I'm going to pull down the center line and click the vertical align center. And if you want, you could actually go ahead and do it from the vertical as well and go ahead and click on the horizontal align center. So now we see it's cut up in four pieces. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and change the stitching path that we created and get rid of the dashed lines because I just wanted to show you how they weren't symmetrical. Now that we're back to just a solid line, I want you to grab your cutting tool, which is your scissors, and go ahead to each of these two intersections. Right there, cut there, and cut there. Now we have two separate pieces. You see how I can I could uh, select the bottom or I could select the top. So now that I have the top selected, it doesn't matter which one you do first. I'm going to go ahead and go to stroke again. And I'm going to click on dash lines again because caps is already done. And it's already one millimeter. And I'm going to click off of that. That's created. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom path. There we go. And now you'll see that they're both aligned perfectly. You see the guideline goes right through it in the same exact spot. So all these holes are now aligned up. And the uh, fact that the corners are curved isn't getting in the way. I'll show you. I'll make a actual pocket and place it down now. I'm using uh, Snap2 Smart Guides. That's why it's really easy to be able to do that, to create the proper size really quickly. And I want to click on Select Tool again because I want to select this outer object because I want to see what size it actually is as far as the curves are concerned. So I went up to Shape and I can see the curves right here, 12.704. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to apply it to our other shape, the pocket, and click on shape again. You notice they're all zero here, so I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there. It's, if you see, it changed all the pocket sizes, curves, so I want to get rid of the ones in the front. So I'm going to grab those circles and drag out. There we go. Now we have our pocket, and I'm going to go ahead and align it. I'm also going to get rid of the fill so you can see through it. There you go. Let me go ahead and zoom in. You see how it landed in the proper spots? That'll do that everywhere on here, but I'm going to go ahead and stretch it just to show you that it fits perfectly anywhere you make the size of this pocket. And that is how you make sure your holes are symmetrical and lined up in Adobe Illustrator when you have curved corners.
Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it solved the problem that you were having. I know this is not an uncommon problem and I struggled to find a resolution to it and I was happy when I did. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. If you feel like giving this video a like, that would be great. I truly appreciate it. It truly helps the channel. If you'd like to subscribe and you have interest in leather crafting, that would be wonderful. I also do laser engraving and information on laser craft. So thank you very much once again and have a great day.